Hello all, welcome to Trinity Software. The latest Python 3.9 version is out on October 5th, 2020. We are going to explore some of the cool features of this version in this video. The first feature being two new operators, pipe symbol or vertical bar. This operator is called union operator and this operator is called in place union operator. The operations are very simple. It is used in dictionaries. This union operator is to merge two dictionaries and this in place union operator is to update the dictionaries. Let me define two dictionaries. Another dictionary D2. Okay, fine. So we have two dictionaries here. Now I am going to just merge these two dictionaries using this union operator. D1 union D2. So this will merge both the dictionaries. At the same time, if you want to merge the dictionaries and you want to update it in D1, in that case, you have to go for in place union. Now if you just give D1, this is not yet updated. So in order to update it, D1 in place union D2. And now you can check what is present in D1. Both the dictionaries are merged and it is updated. In the earlier versions, we used to do this with update function in dictionary. Now the process became simple by using these operators. And the next interesting feature is two methods are added in string. So you can remove the prefix of a string using the remove prefix method and you can remove the suffix of a string using remove suffix method. This can be done using slice operation in previous versions. Now you have a direct method to perform these operations. I am declaring a string. Trinity Software Academy. Now I just want to remove the prefix first. Let's start remove prefix. How many ever characters you want, you can remove starting from the first character. So Trinity is removed. Software Academy is printed. Now I can just remove the suffix. Removing the suffix. I can remove as many number of characters uh, from the end. So the end should be this Y character. So this is how it works. And the next interesting feature is type hint is supported for generic types like list and dictionaries in Python 3.9 version. So to talk about this type hint, let's first understand what is type hint. Type int gives the user the ability to define the type of values that can be passed for an argument of a function. So in previous Python versions, you can do this type hinting only for data types like integer, string, float. Whereas if you want to use type hinting for list and dictionaries, you have to import a different list object from the typing model. Let me explain that with an earlier version. Okay, this is an earlier version, Python 3.7. Now type hinting is done here. You can have a simple function df greet and name is the argument. You can give the type hinting as string str. Okay, and have a print statement print of name. This type hinting is optional. I can call this function greet abc. abc is printed. Okay, whereas in case if you want to greet a list of strings, list of names, in that case, okay. So this will give an error, this type object is not subscriptable. So in that case, you have to make use of typing module. So I will use from typing import list. 
note that L is in capital letter here. Now you can uh, define the function. Again note down here L is in capital letter. This will be considered as the list of strings. So hello A, hello B, hello C is printed here. Okay. In Python 3.9 version, we need not make use of this typing module. Instead, it can give type hinting directly here by giving name colon small l list of str. We will see that in Python 3.9 version. Okay, now let's call this function. So this works fine in Python 3.9 version. So type hinting is supported for both list and dictionary in 3.9 version. And there are two new models added to Python 3.9 zone info and graphlet. We are just going to see about zone info alone in this video. Apart from these new models, existing models such as AST, Cursors, Date, Time, HTTP, Time, Math, OS, Random have also been improved in 3.9 version. We will just explore Zone Info here. Zone Info module. This actually provides access to IANA. IANA stands for Internet Assigned Numbers Authority Time Zone Database. So this database is the most authoritative source for time zone information. We can just explore and access time zones with this zone info module. So before using this zone info module, you have to install TZ data. In case if you are going to use this in Windows operating system, better install TZ data using pip command so that zone info will be able to read the information about all supported time zones. Now let's uh, list all the available time zones. We have to import zone info then I just want to check zone info available time zones so this is going to list out all the available time zones okay so we can just find out how many time zones are available by using this uh, len method So totally 594 time zones are available throughout the world and this time zones are being updated often throughout the year. Now you can access this time zones. You can convert between the time zones. Zone info makes it convenient to convert between the time zones. Now let me find out the current time in India then I can just convert it to current time in America. So we will import from date time, import date time and from zone info, import zone info. Now to know the current time, date time dot now with the time zone. In order to specify the time zone, I use zone info of for India the time zone format is Asia slash Kolkata. Okay, the current time is this. Now this can be stored in a variable and convert this to the time zone of America. So we use this method d dot as time zone and mention the zone info.
அமெரிக்கா ஸ்லாஷ் வேன்கோவர் ஸோ திஸ் இஸ் த கரண்ட் டைம் இன் அமெரிக்கா வேன்கோவர் ரைட் நோ ஓகே ஸோ யூ கேன் ஆக்சஸ் அண்ட் எக்ஸ்ப்ளோர் த டைம் ஜோன்ஸ் லைக் திஸ் அண்ட் நெக்ஸ்ட் ஆஸ் ஐ சைட் ஆல்ரெடி சம் ஆஃப் த எக்ஸிஸ்டிங் மாடியூல்ஸ் ஹாவ் பின் இம்ப்ரூவ்ட் ஸோ ஒன் ஆஃப் த மோஸ்ட் காமன்லி யூஸ்ட் மாடியூல் இஸ் மேத் மாடியூல் தே ஹவ் மாடிஃபைடு மாடியூல் விச் இஸ் ஆல்ரெடி ப்ரெசன்ட் தட் இஸ் மேத் டாட் ஜிசிடி அண்ட் அ நியூ மாடியூல் கால்ட் மேத் டாட் எல்சிஎம்எஸ் ஆடு so gcd is to find out the greatest common divisor this is used in applications of cryptography and many other areas in earlier versions math or gcd can take only two arguments whereas in 3.9 version it can support more than two numbers and math dot lcm is to find out the least common multiple so if you want to find out lcm of two numbers it is the smallest number that can be divided by both of them so this math dot lcm function also support more than two numbers you will see this with an example import math in all the earlier versions two arguments are supported for gcd function whereas now you can have as many number of arguments okay and we can do the same for lcm also so the greatest common divisor of 15 25 and 30 is this 5 and least common multiple of the 15 25 and 30 is 150 okay that's it and last but not the least interesting property is that in 3.9 version a new high performance pg parser is implemented so the fundamental component of the python interpreter is the parser so here the more powerful python PEG parser is implemented so this is more powerful than ll1 parser which has been implemented in the earlier versions for more details on this parser techniques you can refer pep617 so that's it thanks for watching if you like this video kindly share and subscribe